Hello friends, today we are going to read Everybody Sleeps but not Fred. Let's start. Every kind of birds and beasts in the west and in the east, way up high and way down deep, everybody has to sleep. But not Fred. Fred has a to-do list you wouldn't believe. In the jungle, two king snows, also sloths and cockatoos. Ignoring snoring, striped hyenas, monkeys' dreams, they are ballerinas. But not Fred. Fred has important jumping to do. On the phone, the chickens doze. The pig nod off in stinky rows. Sheep lie in a woody heap, count themselves and fall asleep. But not Fred. Fred is breaking the world shouting record. Neat the ocean builds relax, leaking bubbles for for an hour. Rocking by currents in the deep ocean, creatures go to sleep, but not Fred. Fred is testing his horn collection. In their bunk beds underground, tired ants have settled down, now too late to grab a snack, and it has all hit the sack. Fred is practicing his karate chops. Scary things that lurk and slink stop all that for 40 winks. Like other creatures not here listed, monsters too, but not Fred. Fred is hunting the legendary Sasquatch. Having read a book or three, parents turn to poetry, reading from a book so boring, children soon are prone and snoring. Fred? Tomorrow Fred will run about and chop and jump and hunt and shout, but please for now don't make a peep. Just close the books and let Fred sleep. Warning, close books softly or Fred will wake up and start all over again. The end. I hope you love this book. So I'll see you next time. It's a different book. Bye-bye.